A Carlsbad High School student missed his graduation 10 years ago because he had to have emergency brain surgery. Fox 5's Christelle Kumwe tells us tonight how that experience left a lasting impression on this young man. Josue Ramos was bed bound for months and even had to learn how to walk again. But he was not only determined to make a full recovery, but also use his experience to help others. High school was great. You know, I was a jock, but also I vibed with everybody. The path for Josue Ramos started out on a straight line. My plan was to actually join the military. I was supposed to join the Navy. I had everything set up. His time at Carlsbad High School 10 years ago was unforgettable. I had a lot of friends. Josue was on track to graduate with all the other students. It was something that I really wanted to do. It was, it was a big deal. It's my, you know, my family comes from from Mexico and so you know we we have this drive we have to kind of work a little bit harder. Josue was excited to make the walk for graduation and share the moment with family and friends but his senior year took an unexpected turn. I kind of knew that something was going on I was vomiting um, you know maybe once a month and then it got progressively worse. His mom took him to the emergency room where they got the news. They found a brain tumor in my head. This is from uh, 10 years ago when we first diagnosed Josue's tumor. Dr. Sanjay Ghosh was Josue's surgeon. This dark area here with this uh, light bulb in the center is the tumor that uh, he originally had. Dr. Ghosh says they caught it just in time to save his life. If this was not treated uh, in a timely manner uh, he could have conceivably passed away from this tumor within a couple weeks. Josue had emergency surgery to remove the tumor at Scripps Memorial Hospital La Jolla. He was in recovery while his classmates graduated from high school. I was stuck in bed. But family, friends and the care team at Scripps La Jolla didn't want him to miss out. They did a lot of work on the back end to like get people here to, to do a graduation for me. Josue received his diploma from his hospital bed. Family attended the ceremony along with his high school principal dressed in a robe. I felt really loved. It was awesome. That moment left a lasting impression on Josue. I knew at that point I wanted to do something in healthcare. It seemed like it was like right for me. It just seemed like this is what I want to do. I want to help people uh, through this traumatic time. So as of today, as I talk to you, what is your title and uh, where, where are you working? So I'm working at Scripps La Jolla, right, right behind me. As he helps patients who are fighting for their lives, Josue remembers what it feels like. It, it took a while to, for me to kind of get over the fact that this is where a traumatic thing happened to me, but um, it was really something that I wanted to do. He's a respiratory therapist primarily caring for newborn babies. It feels good. It feels good. It feels good doing that. And it goes. Hey! This was the first time these two have seen each other since Josue was a patient. It's been 10 years at least. It's been, it's been a little longer, but yeah. 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 How's it going? Going great. Yeah. Are, Are you, you looking, looking good? Yeah. It's so different seeing you, like, not in the hospital bed. And not in the <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's what we dealt with 10 years ago. Wow. That was growing in your head, this big old thing I never right saw here. the images. The good news is you're cured. I'm cured. This yeah. is all in the rearview mirror. Josue's path started on a straight line, but that unexpected turn 10 years ago brought him right where he needed to be. You know, life is very precious and, uh, you know, don't take anything for granted. Josue Ramos came full circle. Cristel Kumwe, Fox 5 News.